Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at cattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the White House. I take two fingers on the left and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a slightly wavy line all the way from left to right. And then I'm going to come inside on the left and I'm going to draw an oval. Keep going. And I'm going to leave it open because right here I am going to draw a straight line up into a spiral another straight line up into a spiral another line up into a spiral one more into a spiral starting over here on the left I'm going to draw curved lines all the way around the outside of the oval keep going all the way around keep going and then I'm going to draw curved lines on the inside of the oval. All the way around. Keep going. Keep going. Now we're going to do some overlaps. So this will all make sense at some point. Now starting over here on the left, I'm going to draw a wavy line up and down. And then another wavy line up and down, jump over, continue, wavy line, up and down, wavy line, up and down, wavy line, up and down to the end of the paper. Okay, I'm going to take two fingers from the top in the middle and put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, come back to the dot, straight diagonal down on the right, come back to the left, and put the two together. Inside, I'm going to mimic and draw another skinny triangle connect. I'm going to start at the top on the inside and put little straight lines going all the way around the triangle, keep going, back up to the top. Underneath, I'm going to draw a straight line down, straight line across, straight line up, connect. And underneath each one of these, on the left, I'm going to draw a straight line with a spiral and another spiral to meet. Spiral, move over, spiral, Come over to the right side and draw a spiral and one more spiral on the end. These are the tops of a column. So we're going to draw a straight line down. Bam! It crashes into that. So I'm not going to draw through it. I'm going to jump over. Come to the next set. Straight lines down. Jump over. Straight lines down. Jump over straight lines down, jump over. Now on the right hand side I'm going to draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect on the right, and now I'm going to come over on the left and draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect on the left. I come back up on the left and I'm going to draw another skinny rectangle, so I draw a straight line straight line, straight line down, connect on the left. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the right, skinny rectangle, straight line, straight line down, connect. I come about midpoint right here and I draw a straight line out, straight line down, connect on the left, and a straight line out, straight line down, connect. Right about here, I'm going to draw a straight line, curve line up, straight line down, curve line, connect. 
inside, straight line, straight line, and now a curved line, curved line. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to just draw another straight line, straight line, straight line, connect on the left. Now I'm going to come over on the right hand side, do it again, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. Whatever I do on the left, I'm doing on the right. The whole entire thing is symmetrical. So starting on the left again, I draw one, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. Now jump over to the right. We're going to do it again. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. One, two, three straight lines. Okay. Underneath this line, I'm just going to draw some little squares. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Keep going. Jump over. Straight line, straight line, straight line. Keep going. Keep going to the end. Now I come back on the left and I draw one, two, three, four little rectangles. Jump over, draw them again. One, two, three, four little rectangles. Come back to the left. Underneath each one I'm going to draw a curved line, straight line. Curve line, straight line, keep going, curve line, straight line, jump over, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, straight line. One more, another square underneath, three, four on the left, come over on the right, one, two, three, four. Now I come right in between my two pillars and I draw one little square. I draw a curved line, straight line, and another little square. Jump over. If you can fit it in, one little square. Curved line, straight line, one little square. Okay? Right in the middle of this section, I'm going to draw a straight line, straight line, straight line down. And inside, I am going to draw, let's draw a straight line and put a little rectangle inside. Straight line, straight line. I'm going to put another little square on top and I'm going to put a straight line with a little square underneath. Okay, let me see if I've done everything. Yes, I think we're ready to color. Okay, okay, the best thing about the White House is that it's all white, so you don't have to worry about coloring too much of it. I'm going to come up with my red and color my flag red, and I'm going to color the inside of all of these little curved lines all the way around the inside of the oval. These should all be red. Okay. The whole entire thing. I'm going to leave the outside part of that white. But I get my blue and I'm going to color the little square of my flag. And I'm going to color the inside of this section because this is like a reflecting pool. And I'm going to start doing my spirals because this is a fountain. So I'm going to use my dark blue for that. Then I take my light green. I'm going to color these little sections because these are all shrubberies from the front. And I'm going to take my dark green and color this whole section dark green all the way around. This is the lawn. Keep going. So this should all be dark green. And I'm going to add a little bit of turquoise blue to my fountain. Just to the part that's springing up. 
Now, once you've done that, we're going to leave basically the rest of it alone. But if you have a blue marker, or if you have a blue crayon, instead of coloring in the background, I'm just going to fill it in with some blue straight lines. There's so much going on with the actual drawing that that kind of finishes it off simply. Okay? Let's see what it looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my white house all colored in, ready for the president. Okay, bye-bye.